everyone welcome back to my channel this is Norma today we're going to go ahead and start on project number four and the project that we're going to be making is this treat box right here and so I'm going to show you how to put it together so in your kit you're going to get everything that you need to assemble or to put together the the little cute uh, mini bag and everything's going to be scored for you and embossed and um, let's go ahead and start assembling this and in your PDF file you will have instructions um, how to score and cut that way if you want to make some more you can all you can do that and so to assemble this and to make sure that this bag stays well put together we're gonna go ahead and use some tear tape and you want to put tear tape um, right here in this side here and then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and close it like so okay so let's go ahead and start let me get that started let me get closer here there we go and so you want to add some um, some really good adhesive because you want these bags to uh, stay so um, I need a little bit more there so I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut a small piece and so We'll add that there. Okay, like so. All right. And so the easiest way to, for me anyways, to take the tear tape off is to use your um, paper piercer. So there is that. And then we'll take this little one here. There we go. And so then <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to take this, oops, make sure I'm on frame. So you want to take this and adhere it like so. Okay. Like so. And there you have it. And so then next we're going to go ahead and assemble this right here. And now you're going to put these two in. You're going to close that and you're going to close that like so. And we're also going to put some score tape there. And so I'm going to go ahead and cut it just because I like to do that. Okay, so there's that. And let's go ahead and take that off. There we go. And you're gonna go go ahead and close that now my little bag here is a little bigger so I'm gonna trim it there a little bit for some reason I might have not cut this one the right way but yours will be absolutely fine okay and so just make sure everything is nicely done there and then so then that's going to close like so. Okay, so next let's go ahead and add our strips. So this strip right here, we're going to go ahead and add that. So then next, what we're going to do is go ahead and let's do our stamping. Why don't we do our stamping? And so we're going to be using um, this particular bottle here, but you can use any bottle, bottle you wish. I'm just going by my sample here. And so we're going to go ahead and use some um, basic black, which is the archival ink, and then we're going to our image make sure it's well inked go ahead and stamp then for this we're
So now that we're done with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black marker and just go over the edges to kind of hide some of that very vanilla. And this was very vanilla, by the way, that I used. And you will have a piece in your kit, of course, to stamp. And there you go. See how well that... Um, Finishes it up. Okay, so let's move on. Ooh, I made a boo-boo here. Don't do what I did. Okay, so first you want to put your banners. Then you want to put your... Uh, maybe I can still remove that. Yes, I can. Okay, so you're going to want to put your banner. Banners first. Your, let's lower these a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to use for that is, to adhere these, is my glue dots, okay? Nothing better than glue dots. You could use the liquid glue as well. Either one would work. Okay. Here is the other one. And you just want to kind of fluff those a little bit. And then we will put that there, okay? And so, you could also use the multi-purpose glue too for that, but, okay, let's try this again. Okay, a little bit of glue. All right, and we'll add it there. There we go. Okay, and then next what we're going to do is adhere our image here, and I'm going to use some dimensionals for that to pop it up. Yes, because I did use some dimensionals. Okay, so we'll put that like right there. Okay, so there. And then next, we're going to do our little bow here. And we're going to. All right. And then what we could do with that is we need a glue dot. Okay, there is my glue dot. And so I want to roll my glue dot and then um, which one's a good way to put this one let's do it this way and then we're going to adhere that on top like so okay there you go and then next is I'm going to pinch it like so then you're going to take your mini clothes pin and you're going to add it like so look how cute is that how adorable Okay, and there you have your project, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make this mini tree back. Um, stay tuned for my fifth video of my final class using the Sweet Haunting uh, stamp from Stampin' Up. And if you have any questions um, on any of these, please uh, leave me a comment down below. Make sure you visit my blog on a regular basis because I will have information on some upcoming classes. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Take care guys, bye.